a lot of the cells have this design here where it's uh, a canister up on the top very important with saltwater chlorinators that your cell as is, is um, installed in a way so that it creates its own little um, air pocket up here the plates there's um, plates inside the saltwater chlorinator and they actually produce two chlorines when it's running you can see the misting um, coming off the back I'll put this on and put it on to boost so that you can see you see the little bubbles coming out the back there you've got no bubbles coming in on that side it's all clear and out here you've got some definite misting now that is actually producing two gases um, there's salt in the pool sodium chloride and uh, it actually produces sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is liquid chlorine. So this saltwater chlorinator is making liquid chlorine. Now as a byproduct, it also makes hydrogen gas. Yes, think the Hindenburg full of hydrogen gas. And so that is exactly why we have this um, cell up like this. So if we get a no flow situation, so the water is not flowing or it's flowing very little, what we want is that the hydrogen gas will fill up to here and it actually fills with the hydrogen gas and it means the cell goes dry the the, um, the bubbles all form in the top and it dries it out now these cells are very specifically designed so that there's always less than two liters because when the hydrogen gas gets to two liters in capacity it gets quite volatile and below that it's a lot more okay so it's always designed in a way you know the cell can be on the side with the plumbing coming down the other side but it needs to be so that um, the cell's somewhere near the top so that uh, it will actually, in that no-flow situation, it will produce these gases, but it will pump itself dry. No more salt water on the plates, no more gases get produced. It stops producing um, and it's quite safe. Also, all modern chlorinators have got a little tang up the top, so they actually switch off a lot sooner when there's low flow or no flow to make it a lot safer. The dangerous situations uh, if this, for instance, was installed on its side, um, well, I can do it with the video, can't I? If I turn it like that, uh, now what can happen in that situation, this is vertical, so it could be um, producing the gases, and the gases could be coming out and coming up here. Then let's say the next thing in line is a solar heater. When salt coordinators first came out 10 or 15 years ago, this happened. Uh, so the hydrogen gas all bubbles up, bubbles up, bubbles up, and comes out and it actually bubbles up and it goes up onto the solar heater. So now envisage up on your roof, you've got the whole solar heater filling with hydrogen gas. And yes, it did happen on a tiled pool. Sun came out, the hydrogen gas heated, it exploded. The entire solar mat exploded and the whole tiled roof um, shattered. So that person came home and there was not a tiled roof on the house anymore. The whole half of the roof, I saw photos of it. Uh, had exploded and all the tiles had fallen down onto the roof of the house. So it really does pay to make sure your chlorinator is correctly installed so that you've got what they call a gas loop, safety gas loop uh, in the top there.